Cybernetics is a very old discipline, or maybe not very old, but it's a discipline that was developed in the 50s of last century by a professor at MIT, Norbert Wiener, and the idea behind cybernetics was to look at various different fields and uh, systems in a unified way, to try to understand how they work and find common principles. And uh, understanding that Wiener had was that all systems in the world and all research, in fact, will in the end become a cybernetic research. So his idea was by the end of last century we only have cybernetics as a research field. This did not come, of course, and uh, in fact cybernetics became even a little unpopular by the end of the last century, but now with the onset of those systems that you mentioned, smart cars, smart grids, smart energy distribution networks, Industry 4.0, with the onset of those systems the need for such a generic view on dynamical systems uh, has risen again. And this is what the cybernetics of the 21st century refers to. So this discipline sees a revival at the moment, sees a revival, not that it has the idea to become the research discipline, but to look at various new aspects to develop further itself and to find answers to our ever increasing complexity that we are witnessing in our technological, social, societal world. Uh, industry 4.0 is the fourth industrial revolution. This is what this 4.0 stands for. So in manufactured technology, producing goods of all sorts, there have been different phases in the past. One was that uh, the first industrial revolution was that uh, energy produced by animals or humans has been replaced by energy from machines, the steam engine. This was the first industrial revolution that led then to the industrialization of this world. Second industrial revolution was, uh, was assembly lines, so automation, mass production of systems um, that have started about a hundred years ago in the automobile sector. Third industrial revolution is automation, so that you have autonomously working robots uh, in the play. And now the fourth industrial revolution is that you not only look at individual manufacturing steps, but as the whole chain of producing different systems as a whole. So you want a flexible production line where these production machines work together in a very intelligent way of producing various go goods, individualized goods, in as cheap a way as possible, uh, in as large numbers as possible. So this is Industry 4.0. Smart energy distribution, this comes uh, with um, our thrive to save the environment, renewable energies. In former times we had energy production through big power plants, nuclear power plants, gas power plants, coal power plants, and uh, from there all the energy was produced and then brought to the consumer. Nowadays it looks different. We want to produce energy from regrowing resources, for example, that we want to use wind, that we want to use solar energy. And uh, this is now done in a decentralized way. You not only have one big plant that produces that energy, but you have many, many decentralized small units that produce the energy. And also the consumers are distributed and matching that production and the use of the energy, this is what refers to as smart grids, as smart distribution systems, um, that you have a system that utilizes the resources in an optimal way and make sure that everything stays stable um, while the load produced by customers, by consumers, may still vary. Complex networks is really lots of individual dynamical systems that are interacting. Let's say three robots that are jointly producing something in, in the car manufacturing side. Two of the robots hold up the, the, the chassis of the car, turn it around, and a third robot does some welding at the bottom. So obviously those three robots are independent, but they work together on a on a joint task and so they are interconnected and really trying to understand this interconnection this is this network of, uh, of 
system dynamics that has to be understood. Now the term nonlinearity is a, another mathematical term that explains if systems are very simplified more complex. They don't show a simplified behavior. So adding a double a stimulus to the system does not lead to a double response of the system but may lead to something completely different. And this is called a nonlinear effect and that makes things much more challenging to, to deal with uh, in research. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, nature is typically nonlinear. So we have to deal with these nonlinear, complex, interconnected systems. Yeah, there are many challenges. Technological challenges, of course, that engineers have to address. So from sensing to actuation to producing uh, these technological systems, then also more basic curiosity-driven curiosity research questions of understanding how the systems interact and um, developing methods that allow then practitioners to really build such systems that they work uh, in a reliable way. But then this goes on to societal questions, legal questions where who is responsible for an accident if an autonomously driving car is having an accident? Um, is it the driver? Is it the owner of the car? Is it the producer of the car? Is it the software developer? So who is responsible or maybe society as such? But also up to um, other societal questions like, for example, will those machines potentially be able to take over society? In the end, you know, they will have all knowledge about us and will have influence on whatever we do. We enter a car and we tell the car to drive to the city center, but the car decides it's much more energy efficient to go somewhere else. So these kind of questions uh, also in the job market, robots will take over more and more tasks and uh, also not only in manufacturing, but also in other fields. What effect for society does something like that have? These are very important questions that are outside of engineering or outside of the natural sciences where the humanities, philosophy, social sciences really have to play an enormous role. It's a very interdisciplinary challenge and I think this name Industry 4.0, as fancy as it may sound, is a very wisely chosen term. It's an, a revolution. It's a next step that brings us qualitatively to a new society and we have to really make sure that this society is the type of society that we would like to have. Mm -hmm.